Hello, and welcome to Good Deeds. It is brought to you by JustServe.org. If you're looking for ways to get involved in, with organizations that are making a difference in people's lives in the Sacramento area, go to JustServe.org, and they can get you connected with organizations that could use your donation of time, money, so many ways that you can help, and JustServe.org is a great place to get started. Today, we are talking with Jenny, who is the founder of Do Good Shop, and we're finding out more about the work that Do Good, Do Good Shop does in the Sacramento area. Welcome to Good Deeds, and thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I'm happy to be here. I this would love to hear more about what Do Good Shop is doing to help people and, and do good in the Sacramento area. Great. So first of all, let me explain a little bit what Do Good Shop is. Um, when you go to our website, which is dogoodshop.org, it looks like a typical store, like a retail boutique online. But actually, Do Good Shop is a 501c3 nonprofit benefiting people who have gotten out of trafficking, um, being unhoused, poverty, displacement, refugees, um, all kinds of different forms of being marginalized or not having as many opportunities. And all the items we sell are made by these people who are artisans now and getting safe living wage work through Do Good Shop and other fair trade corporate uh, companies and shops. So that's what that's we're doing. Awesome. So it looks like a store, but it's actually a nonprofit that's benefiting people in need of a hand up instead of a hand out. Yeah. Well, I mean, especially as we're heading into the holiday season, a lot of people have already started yes. their holiday shopping. What a what better way to find unique handcrafted gifts and then help support someone on their new path? Yes, absolutely. It's been so for me, before I founded Do Good Shop, I just wanted to make this this way of shopping easier. I had started doing this personally and it was super fulfilling to give someone a pair of earrings that wasn't just from the nearest big box store, but actually had someone's name on it and was giving them a way forward out of trafficking or being unhoused, their kids to get an education. So meaningful. Um, and people loved getting gifts that way. When I started giving those gifts, people were like, whoa, this is this is cool, you know, not just a pair of earrings, but something special. It's very cool. How do you find the artisans to include on Do Good Shop? So I actually had started shopping this way myself and done a bunch of research on different um, organizations that were kind of working with people who are refugees or unhoused and, you know, just started shopping this way, putting kind of for a cause, putting my shopping dollars to work, voting for the kind of world I want to see. And so we have artisans who are in Sacramento, in Woodland, who have struggled with homelessness, um, who have had hard situations. And I, the Do Good Shop is run by a board of directors. And so we vet the people who are coming in that they do have a need for a hand up, and then what kind of art they're doing. And then we we put them into the program that way. Um, artisans overseas that we work with are often vetted by other organizations or people who've been there. And I do travel to some of the places as well to meet with the artisans. It's fantastic. What great work you're doing and how much fun it must be for you to it discover is. these new items and know that you're helping somebody at the same time. Yes, it's been great. Very fulfilling. Hard so, as well. Challenging. <laughs> but Well, I, I can't wait to dig in and get some holiday shopping done uh, with Do Good Shop. But it, what other ways can we as the community help support the work that you're doing? Yeah, well, actually, the very best way is to shop. Um, I try to let people know, don't feel guilty. Guilt is not a good motivator. Um, it doesn't keep us doing something. But, but think about, hey, I could just change one gift per year. Maybe I'm going to commit to doing one holiday gift this year bought from a fair trade place. That could be Do Good Shop. Do Good Shop is a great way. Of course, I love that way. But there are many other ways to buy fair trade gifts. Um, the, in Sacramento, the Natural Food Co-op store and in Davis, the Davis Food Co-op have a lot of fair trade items. Um, Nugget Market sell fair trade items. Do Good Shop sells lots of fair trade items. There are plenty of ways to do it. But just making that switch, it just takes a kind of a mindset that I'm not going to just click send to house on every single thing. Although we do ship for free from Do Good Shop as well. <laughs> but I'm going to make a, an intentional choice to purchase something different. So we do, um, people do volunteer, but the best way to help Do Good Shop artisans is to actually purchase their products and keep the cycle of 
sustainability and safe living wage work going. Yeah. And spread the word, you know, share yes. a good shop with your friends. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's another way through social media, through chatting, through some people have hosted um, the state. Actually, I can't remember which department, but they were having a diversity fair and they invited Do Good Shop to come and have a table with things for sale and to let people know what's going on in the community and how we can help just by shopping, which is something we all do almost every day. Yeah. So uh, almost every day, if not every day, several yeah. times. <laughs> well, depending on how so much you much. like it, like me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much for sharing the work um, of, of Do Good Shop. And I will definitely be hitting you guys up for the holidays and beyond. And uh, I'd like to encourage our, our Good Deeds viewers right now to share this video as well so more folks can find out about more about it. We got the website up so people can check it out. Thank you so much for the work you're doing. And thank you for being on Good thank Deeds. You. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.